Hello, hi everyone. I'm very excited to present you with this uh, this concept. I thought I'll I'll present this concept after a few other videos, but I thought I'm bit uh, somehow I don't I don't know what's the reason, but somehow I felt I'll uh, present you this uh, this concept. So this is all about an Excel sheet, Excel tool. Uh, I call it as a tool than a sheet itself because it does much more than uh, you know just presenting a data. So I have created an Excel tool to fetch the data from multiple files and uh, present in a easily understandable and uh, easily concludable uh, you know manner. So let's get started. So let me tell you about uh, you know the case what what the business case I have taken and then I build on that. So let's just say we have an organization of 10,000 employees or 20,000 employees or whatever. And then we we are not maintaining the benefits in-house. So we are maintaining the benefits. We have outsourced the maintenance of benefits uh, you know, information to the third party. So uh, to maintain these benefits, they need some information. What is that information they need? They need, uh, you know, employee demography information, employee job information, payroll, you know, pay related information and all. So they take that information based on uh, the demographic information and based on the elections. They will calculate, you know, how much deductions we have to the, you know, we have to deduct from the employee. So. Uh, so once we deduct, once deductions are happening, then they need they need to know how much actually they have asked for twenty dollars and they want to know if the twenty dollars has been deducted or not because they'll bill us they'll they are going to send us an invoice for twenty dollars and we have to pay that pay that to them. So if you observe here, right, um, uh, there are three integrations: census outbound, payroll inbound, and payroll actual outbound. There are three indications. So first is payroll in, uh, out, I mean, uh, census outbound. Let's just say that it, it runs on a weekly basis every Saturday, and then we'll run for all the employees, like uh, let's let's just say 10,000 or 20,000 employees. We'll run for all the employees, and then we'll send the data to the vendor. Then they'll do some calculations based on that. They'll come up with deduction amount for this deduction code and all. They'll send it us. To us on a weekly basis let's just say every Sunday then we load into our payroll system once the payroll is done based on the you know income and all these things we'll deduct the amount from the employees then uh, we actually take how much deductions have happened on the employee and then we'll send to the vendor um, I'll just tell you right I have for this example I have taken a, a you know five weeks worth of data that means each of this integration will have five files. The census will have five files. Um, inbound could have up to five files, but not necessary because if there are no changes, if there are no additions or deletions, we no need to receive any data. And then outbound uh, payroll or sorry, payroll actual outbounds will have five files. So uh, for this example, right, I have considered, uh, you know, approximately five to six employees uh, and I've covered these scenarios a new hire termination promotion demotion and all these things right and whereas for the payroll deductions I have considered medical dental vision life insurance and 401k this is I have tried to make it as simple as possible for uh, explanation purposes so what does what does the output looks right um, this is how the output looks in a single table we'll have all the data from all the files there are approximately 15 files so far within the five five uh, weeks but uh, if we consider for for a year right there could be like 52 weeks 52 files each uh, integration will have that's like around 150 files will be there it's not that easy to uh, go through each and every file and conclude something but with this tool right it shows all the data in a single uh, format, single table. So let's just say, in this case, I am searching for this employee 1003, and then I am searching for life insurance. 
deduction code is life insurance right if you observe the employee uh, pay has been decreased from 125 to uh, 120k so that that's what happened because of this decrease the vendor decided to decrease the uh, amount from 33 dollars to 30 dollars this is just a hypothetical uh, case right so uh, so on uh, first of uh, december sorry first of january we have sent a census outbound with the you know annual salary of 125 and in the payroll in, that's the census outbound and on the 2nd of january we have received payroll input and we it is saying life for for life insurance please deduct 33.8 dollars and then on the 3rd of january we process the payroll and then we uh, we have deducted 33.8 cent right that's a entire story for that week the next week because there was a decrease in the uh, you know annual salary the the vendor has decided to decrease the deduction amount to 30 dollars from 33.8 right so and then we have deducted 30 dollars because of any reason in future we don't deduct or anything so it will be clearly shown here so this is what this is the uh, you know entire output will will look like right i am going to show you demo uh, how it looks uh, in my mission so for this demo uh, as I was saying, there are three integ three integrations. One is census outbound, payroll inbound, and payroll outbound. So there are like approximately five five files in each uh, you know each integration. So I have placed those five files in each folder. So if you observe, this is the work date vendor census, and this is the date stamp 2021 2022-0101. So on the 1st of January, we have sent a file, 8th of January, 15th, 22 and 29. So it's a weekly one. So this is a census outbound and payroll inbound. There are only four files. For one week, for one week there were no changes, so they didn't send any file. And I'll just show you the data also in the file. So this is like employee ID and code. Uh, you know, employee ID and code is like either medical or dental or vision or something like that. And then this is the amount. They want us to deduct from the employee and this is the eight dollars they want us to you know, deduct from the employee and this is the effective date and this is the mode do we have to add or change or delete right then um there is a payroll outbound there are five files so it will have all the reductions the same same manner work date to vendor payroll then there is the date 3rd, 10th, 17th, 24th, and 31st, we have directed. And I'll show you census also real quick. This is a census outbound. So it will have employee ID, first name, last name, uh, date of birth, hire date, terminations, and all these things. And these are uh, type delimited. Right? So I'll show you the template now, the, the Excel tool now. So data from all the files. I'm opening the Excel. So this is the all files data. So I'm going to clear uh, the the filters first. So it will show. Uh, maybe I'll filter first, and then I'll unfilter later. For now, I'm going to select only life insurance, right? So it will show you. Um, on the 1st of January, there was a census outbound run, and for this employee, uh, this is the row. So, there are, let's just say, 125,000 uh, is the employee annual salary, and as I was saying, there was a 33.08 uh, dollars of, you know, life insurance. That's what they have sent on 2nd of January. On 3rd of January, we have deducted uh, $33.8 and then we have sent to the vendor. That's what happened. This is the entire story for the first week. Right? For the second week, because we have sent $120,000, the, the vendor has decided to decrease from $33.08 to $30. And then we have started deducting $30 from that, that day onwards. 
you know you can see that this likewise uh, if you want to look for the medical right what happened for the medical medical was like 108.05 dollars and that's never changed and uh, let's just say for the employee who got newly hired so the new hire employee we have sent only on the 15th of january because because of that there is no data before that first of january there won't be any data at all and let's just say an employee who got terminated mm, so if you look at here right this employee has been terminated on 129 29th of january 2022 and because of that they have sent a delete row on uh, this date 30th then we have deleted we have made that amount to zero medical this is the entire story of uh, this will be uh, you know, represented entirely in one way so just to prove you that this is not a static this is a dynamic i'm going to make some minor changes let's just say for this uh, for this employee what is it? 002 instead of 102 uh, let's just say on the latest file on 24th payroll actuals i'll change it to the 200 dollars actuals and on the 24th i'll change to the let's just say 200.23 right then all i have to do is go to data and refresh Did I change the wrong data? Oh, I have changed this, uh, this one. Okay. Then I'll go here. All I do is go here and then refresh. See, two hundred point two three is updated. So this is this is as simple as it is. So if you want to add one file, just just say. Uh, I have added one more file for the payroll outbound that is the 2nd of February and let's just see what happens if you refresh the data for this employee there is no difference because this employee is terminated but let's just say for this employee see here this row was not there previously now it's added because we have added only the uh, you know payroll actuals we have not added a file for the census there is no you know there is no row between these two in the production generally it will have one more row here so if we see this kind of discrepancies right then we will we'll easily identify that okay there is something wrong with this data for example there is uh, there is no census outbound for for an employee for uh, for any reason right not census sorry payroll outbound there is no payroll outbound because there is no deductions for the employee let's just say so there is no payroll outbound so in that case uh, the row will this row will not be there at all right so we clearly we can clearly see that okay this week the employee didn't have any deduction because there are two census outbound consecutively right this is this is one way of uh, looking at it or let's just say two weeks for so two weeks the employee didn't have any deductions the employee may not have any payroll uh, may uh, earnings because of that the employee didn't have any deductions that's what we can easily conclude so that's about this demo so the cool feature about this uh, tool the the very cool features about this tool is there is no limit on number of files we don't uh, so that like uh, as i was saying uh, on a weekly uh, if, if you consider the data for one year it will have 150 files so that doesn't matter if, even if it is like 500 files also it doesn't matter as long as the files are available in a specific folder it doesn't matter and uh, and even with the one year of data all uh, right uh, all it takes the tool is it takes to you know conclude is just 30 seconds if you click refresh uh, or refresh all or whatever 
it com it completes it goes through each and every file and then it uh, it pulls the data and puts in the format as we expected and then it will it will present to us so it will be very useful on a on a maintenance basis and then it will be used very useful in the testing also while testing different different scenarios it will be very useful and and uh, i want to conclude one thing right this is just a prototype uh, to you know push the limits uh, of my boundaries and i want to encourage you also try this excel uh, you know this kind of excel tools and all then you you will find that excel you spend like few hours like one two hours and then excel returns you like 10 to 15 hours on a weekly basis that's what i uh, i have experienced and then i want i want to encourage you using excel so happy coding uh have a nice day